So around three weeks ago, and around a day ago, or two days ago, whatever, I made a video saying that there's new UI. Now, the shop UI is still here, if we click this, the shop UI is still here, not been sized up, but it's still here, so, whatever. But the other UI, like the game UI, like around everything, has been removed. If you remember, my alt account had the new UI, and I'll put it up on screen what it looked like from my alt account and whatever. Just... It wasn't the best, I did kind of get used to it, it's just that there were a few things that still bugged me and was annoying, but I was getting kind of used to it, but if I get on my alt account now, and I show you the game UI, I don't know why it's always night time, but we have the old UI back, if we look here we have the old UI, uh, we have the old stuff, so it's been gone. Now the reason they did this is... Well, they sent out an announcement thing, whatever. So, hello announcement ping. We have deactivated the new HUD layout, and now it's time to analyze and collect feedback. We'd appreciate it if you had any feedback on the new HUD, and would like to help us better understand what you liked and didn't like. Feel free to share your feedback with us via this Google form. I'll leave the Google form in the comments. Obviously, some people didn't like it, and then some people did like it. I was like, I'm in between with it. I do think that Ripper made a good point, or... I can't remember who it was. He said that Driving Empires needs like a revamp or change or whatever, which I do agree upon. They're already starting with the store, and if they go with this like kind of design, I'm not like gonna say it's horrible. Because I do kind of like this, like you know, you cash, you invest these. Someone said in my comments to add the code there, so like I think that's a good idea. And you can carry on adding to it and it'll just move across. And I think this is really cool because you can just add and add and add. I mean, you don't want to add, like, so much stuff there, but you know what I mean. So, I do think the Driving Empire does need a change. Obviously, we're getting licensed cars. It's going to need some, like, change, I think. So, in the upcoming weeks and whatever, I would expect a new dealership, like, UI. So, we won't have, so we won't have it looking like this anymore. I do think it will look similar to this, because this layout is really good for, uh, like, a lot of cars here. Like, you go new cars, all vehicles, licensed vehicles, very, 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 I do think they're gonna keep this, like, the layout here. I do think they're just gonna revamp it, though. Driving Empire, you need, they need to make it so the newest car is up here. Because having an 89 days old car at the top here is not appealing. You're gonna have to scroll down for, anyway. So, I would expect... Obviously, with this HUD UI or whatever removal, I don't think it's going to be permanently removed. I do think it's going to come back eventually because why would they spend so much time and then remove it fully? Like, they, it's going to be back. It's just that they're, you know, getting feedback right now and seeing what people actually think about it, which is a good thing. I do like that they're doing that. But in the future, there will be new dealership UI probably, new inventory UI. New, oh, I didn't mean to press this. New teleport UI, and everything's going to be a lot newer because, like, we're getting licensed cars. People, or, like, the licensed car manufacturers, they want to be updated. I, I don't know. But tell me what you think about the UI being removed. Obviously, like I said, it will come back eventually. It's just that it's been removed for now. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to leave the Google form in the comments so you can write what you think about this, or, like, the new UI before. So... Yeah, and tell me what you think about the UI being removed. Have a good day.